What's happening everybody, it's me, it's The Bean, and you're watching Bean Screen TV. In this episode, I show you how to make the lure that catches everything that swims. Check it out. Today, I'm gonna to recreate my favorite lure in the world. The most versatile lure. Everything from peacock bass to giant tarpon. Everything loves the marabou jig. As you can see there, we have a real hook on this jig head. One of those really thick, strong, durable, stainless steel hooks, all right? Versus the old crappy jig that has those little tiny gold hooks that break and bend and straighten out. What I have are some 3 8 ounce jig heads to start with, all right? I got marabou feathers, which is gonna be for the body of the lure gonna be for all the action. I got some flash boo that I'm gonna put in the middle of the marabou, give it some shine, and then I'm gonna wrap it all off with some shiny body wrap, okay? So I haven't tied flies since I was like from age eight to 12. Uh, I'm pretty rusty. Um, I had a little phase where I like making my own flies, but uh, I'm gonna use that technique into making these lures that I'm gonna use on spinning tackle.
saltwater marabou jig. All right. Look at that. So I have a much heavier jig head for castability and for it to sink quicker. Also with a heavier round jig head, when you jig it, it will get a lot more action because of the heavier jig head. We tied a couple up. Let's go put them to the test. See what we catch. Folks, we're out here today testing out my marabou jig, seeing what we come across. It looks like the cuda likes that flashy thing. Look at that, right there in the corner of the mouth, too. All right, so we tested it offshore. Let's take it to the backcountry and see how it works. Look at that quality snook on the bean pole. I mean, it's a 36 inch rod, so you can take your guess there. On the homemade jig, we took a couple nice runs. I'm gonna let that beautiful fish go. Oh, he's ready to go. He's ready to go, there he goes. There he goes. Got him. That was a little, little pimp. Tarpon is going to be a 200 pound monster one day. There he goes. That is cool. That is cool fishing, Jimmy. That's a good one there. Look at that. Oh, he's mad now. There he goes. There he goes. All right, catch and release. We're having a blast today with Jimmy. He's in that bean pole and a home raid jig and catching some snooks, some, some little little poons. Having a great time doing it. All right, so we caught plenty of fish on a homemade jig. Go ahead and make it yourself and put it to use. See what you catch. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you smash that like button until your finger breaks. Make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for the next episode. So we got a much bigger J, uh, a much bigger. <laughs>
Damn it, I'm Timmy. Damn it, I'm Timmy. I swear to God, one bit my ankle just now. No. Yeah. Really? Yeah. They bit you? Yeah, it bit me on the ankle. Oh, but are they poisonous? I don't know. We'll find out. Yeah, I just got bit on my ankle. By the way, he was making fun of me on the way in for dodging the spiders. Now he's stomping like a little girl. <laughs> well, I'm still catching them. I'm still Good catching time. them. Oh! oh! Nobody's seen that. You ain't got the right glasses on. <laughs> he's in our he's in our snack for me. He's got grandma. That just that just tickled me so much. <laughs> <laughs>